training for 21st century warfare in the air, on the ground, and through virtual reality. Here in the 2nd Airborne Division, uh, we train men and women to do bad things to bad people at a moment's notice. This is the Army's Fort Bragg in Fayetteville, North Carolina, home to the 82nd Airborne Division and Special Forces. The Daily was granted incredible access to their training. You do it right on the ground, you do it right in practice, so when it comes time to actually get it done, there's no question you'll be able to pull it off. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at some of the most advanced military training technology out there. The Dismounted Soldier Training System, which is the first virtual reality training system for US military infantrymen. <laughs> You know, Call of Duty or, or anything as, as nice and slick as it is, it's more meant for a casual gamer that doesn't necessarily have any kind of military experience. This is an actual simulator that you use to train with. Dismounted soldier training, just one of the ways the US Army is developing the 21st century American warrior. It's a $57 million system, unveiled for the Army over the summer by a company called Intelligent Decisions. Soldiers train for real-life combat scenarios in a virtual space. So you can go into this, this system and train on any kind of an environment, urban, woodland, desert, depending on the, the needs of the leadership and what they want to train for. So I decided to strap up and give it a go. I feel like I'm like Bane or something. The, the tools uh, for this system, the, the main components are the head-mounted display. This uh, supplies the visual stimulus. Head, arm and leg sensors detect your motion. So whatever it's coded to be, whether it's coded to be a grenade or binoculars or whatever, so you hold it there, it activate, and you just make the motion of throwing the grenade, and then you'll, you'll, you'll throw a grenade. To move in the virtual space, the only thing you don't do, you don't actually have to move your feet. I turn my head to see, to look around in the environment. I turn my body to move my body in the environment, but the actual act of walking or running or crawling, there's a joystick on the front hand grip of the weapon, and that's that's how you move it. As for the gun, there's a sensor on the buttstock, so when you're calibrating, it registers when you bring it up. When you press it against your shoulder, the scope appears. The 15-pound backpack processes each action, sending soldiers' data out to a network so they can operate as a team. One dead bad guy in the hallway. Guys outside the village are armed too. You're talking to each other, you're moving in real time, you're seeing what they do, they see what you do, just like you would in any other kind of virtual environment. Although it seems like a video game, virtual missions can make live training more efficient, saving time and money. Right, go ahead and stand by on uh, Alex and the captain. Boot a scenario up, they can run through it, and then if they say, oh, let's try that again, it's basically just a matter of a few clicks and you're, you're reset. There's not moving everybody back into position, there's no repositioning of vehicles, there's no yeah, fueling yeah. up. Right there, you're saving money, time, uh, fuel, ammunition. So when they do have those reduce live rounds and they go into a live house, yep. shoot house, they get the maximum out of it. Computerized training also allows commanders to insert unforeseen obstacles and enemies into the mission, testing the versatility of their soldiers. There's a lot of uh, flexibility as to, as to what can be done in the scenario as it's going on. As the operator, we can we can sit there and the leadership would say, hey, can you put this, this such and such here? I want to see how they react to it. All the insurgents have been eliminated. Finally, it's mission accomplished. Very, very cool. Very realistic. You, see, you can hear everything, even the birds, birds squawking. I think one of the bad guys even talked smack to me before I, before I popped him. Then the troops undergo AAR, after action review. We have it recorded, we go over to the AAR machine and the squad, the, the fire team, whoever's training in it can sit down, look up, and you have the leadership going with them point by point, minute by minute on what was going on. And that's central to building the modern day American soldier. Nothing's gonna take live training away from the soldier completely, but as we move forward in the, in, into the future, the, the, in the military, everybody's trying to do things to make their process is more uh, efficient, um, both cost-wise and uh, time-wise. For The Daily, I'm Alex Dickinson.